The most exciting thing that I've observed over the last two or three years is this extraordinary growth of resource um, ne networks and websites, through websites. Uh, the scale of them is of, a, is of a scale I would not have imagined possible. The number of, of visitors, a number of uploaded um, lesson plans has gone up by 148% this year. We're now looking, I, would, I deal with two different websites who between them reach well over three million teachers all over the world. You've got young teachers who are uploading lesson plans that are going to 150 countries. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. We now know for sure that young people are like to have five, six careers, that they're going to have to reskill at least every five years. Now, that as a challenge for teachers is phenomenal. Therefore, the teacher themselves has to be, a, in a sense, a different type of person, has to A, understand the, the nature of the challenge, and B, see that their, their essential role is to create confidence, to create... Um, uh, flexibility, ability, you know, the agility, the people to, who can make decisions, who can work in teams. These are very different skills. So the, the requirements of the teachers of the 21st century are, I think, greater than they've ever, ever, ever been in history. We need a generation of superb teachers if we're to have a generation of competent um, young people to deal with the challenges that lie ahead. A Europe that doesn't invest massively in education is a Europe that's condemning itself to failure, and I don't want to see that happen. The most disruptive factor, both the good and the bad, the most disruptive factor is the idea that there is a, what I call in my book, my speeches, a, a silver bullet. There's one silver bullet, that there's the iPad, or there's a, some, some device that's going to emerge uh, in all of our lives that's going to transform learning, and it won't happen that way. And as I said, my own uh, view is that this, when combined with the of skilled practitioner on an interactive whiteboard, and very, very sophisticated assessment processes whereby the results of this, either from home with the child at home or in, or in the classroom, get fed back into the teacher on a, on a constant basis. That's disruptive. If you can create a pedagogy built around that, I think that could see us through, probably see us through the next 10, 15 years. I would like the school the classroom of 2025 to have an access, a type of access to video and audiovisual and still and every other form of, uh, of image that it used to have from an uh, encyclopedia. You should be able to go to, to just as in, in my day, you could go to an encyclopedia and discover, discover almost anything about anything if you were prepared to bury, burrow far enough. The school of the future should have access to not, ju not just a written version of that, but to have ev to every clip, every piece of newsreel, every single resource that ever existed that could help you to become better at what you do, more interested in your subject.